Imagine being invincible, soaring through space, witnessing cosmic wonders, feeling their embrace. In this realm, you are the architect, shaping each land. Watch gravity's dance, guided by your command. Fly freely, no limits to hold you back. Experience the thrill of being a creator, the power you lack. Feel the awe as galaxies unfold their mysteries, exploring the unknown in a state of pure bliss. Escape to a place where fantasies come true, where you are the master, making dreams anew. Hello everybody, in this video we take a look at Space Simulator 3D. This app can be used as an educational app and, and uh, can be used just for those um, astronomy enthusiasts among you. Or if you just wanted to check out how gravity works and you know just create your own solar system. In this app you can do just that. So and again if you add another celestial object depends on its mass, it's going to affect of course the fabric of space and it's going to also affect of course the other planets of the gravity. So if for example I'm creating a little meteor, well it won't do actually anything, right? Maybe creating a little bigger planet and let's see what happens, give it a trajectory, it goes into orbit and oof, just throw itself out, although the first planet was actually moved a bit as you can see because of that. And the other rotating um, celestial object just rotate around it because their mass is lower. Now keep in mind that many options in this app uh, that allows you to uh, you know uh, create something based on basically what you want to test. Uh, you can create uh, your own trajectory for the planets. You can make it so uh, planets will rotate around the biggest mass, the, the largest star or largest planet. You have the option of also to shoot things and see what happens. I'm going to show this in a moment. It's really really cool. You can delete and basically lots of options controlling also the visuals. So you can see actually the you know, how uh, the pathing of the planets and you can actually just remove it or make something smaller uh, or just increase the lines so you can see it more prominently. We can also change the backgrounds, our beautiful backgrounds. Keep in mind the textures are low quality, even the background appear blurry. I wish there was like very, very high quality. It would be super immersive if it was like that. Uh, but again, we need wild field of view, higher brightness, everything's just gonna help increase the uh, experience. And nonetheless, it's still fun, but can definitely benefit from uh, higher realism and maybe some animations on the planet, something that really make it come alive even more. I, for example, love the nebulas. It's just beautiful, I think, and all the colors. So you can do just that. Anyway, you can choose between different options. All of them are beautiful. One thing about the controls, there is an explanation, but I percent percent overlay, uh, which you must simply so you can see actually the control in your hand and you can see the overlay, what each one does. Uh, it's much easier than just going back and remember, you know, what each button does. And uh, because it's more, there are lots of options here, uh, that option for an overlay would be really beneficial here. Instead of trying to remember, or just, you know, try to experiment again and again until you remember all the controls. There's also a leaderboard where you can create and load other people's uh, creations and you can also uh, rate it. You can find, you see, uh, just a random one or set AI text search uh, or just upload your own and share it with others. However, there's a bug where I just start to type and I couldn't just stuck into my head and I couldn't even type. Now keep in mind, the way you create different type of looking, uh, different looking planets, it just, uh, just take your hands, put it, you know, so it's in and out, in and out, it always will generate uh, new ones. So again, if you do it several times, you even get Saturn. I love Saturn. So here's an example. Again, you can see I'm just stretching my hand, putting it back here, in and out, and it's going to generate new textures uh, again and again and again. Different ones until you get what you want. Here we go, Saturn. Oh, and no worries, dear creator. Earth, the sun, and the moon are also available for you as well as all the other plants. All right, let me show you a few beautiful things. First of all, you can see this is loaded from another user. Uh, and uh, look at the beautiful uh, pathing, path the orbit. 
And now let's create something big and, and put a sun there and see how, how we can actually affect everything. You can see everything just changes now and uh, everything now orbits the sun. The star, as it should be. And you can see the changes in the pathing of the orbit. Each one has its own color. Just beautiful dance. Oh, it's just beautiful. First time I'm doing something like that, to be honest. Just, just mesmerizing. And by the way, as I mentioned, if you don't like the traces, you can change it with no tracing at all. You can just use these small traces. Uh, just follow uh, the, the planets. This is also nice if you don't want to really see all these lines. And again, this happens all the time around us. <sighs> Amazing. Uh, here I loaded a binary planet. Again, this is something created by another user. So you could just see everything, browse through all the different creations, and you can actually see it. And you can move, of course, in the 3D space, get closer, change the angle. It's quite intuitive. Now look carefully what happens if I shoot one of them, how it will change the trajectory of the other planet. Oof, there you go. <laughs> so cool. Wait, there's more. Let's see more of that. There's the sun. Let's explode the sun and see what happens. Let's shoot the sun. Change to shooting mode. And shoot the sun. And look what happens. <laughs> All the planets, just, you know, go into that different trajectory. And it's so beautiful to watch. And you can see also that the lines, the tracing, will also kind of collapse. Uh, just beautiful to watch as well. Look at that. Yeah, so it's not perfect, it has its issues, and the visuals are not super sharp as I want it to be, and I wanted something more realistic and immersive if I'm already in space. Uh, but that aside, uh, it works beautifully, and it's so much fun experimenting with the gravity, with just positioning and creating your own solar system, and just exploding stars and see what happens. Again, this is lack, lack of complexity, there's no numbers here that explain things, again, just for a simple experimentation. But again, this is one of the, you know, positive side of it, you know, it was something simple, easy to understand. The control is a bit complicated, but you get used to it pretty quickly, but overall a fantastic app. So I hope you enjoyed this little journey into uh, my, actually it's not all mine, <laughs> I would load it some other people's creations. Um, solar system and planets, and uh, if you want to create yourself and play with it, yeah, available on SideQuest, make sure to check it out. And I'll see you soon on the next video. I hope you enjoyed this review. Consider maybe subscribing to my channel. More cool videos, guides, and other cool stuff are coming on my channel. See you at the next one. Cheers.